Welcome to today's Grow It Green. I'm joined virtually by Mary Thibault Davis from UNH Cooperative Extension. And Mary, we're seeing a lot more interest in community gardens as people get interested in growing their own food, but maybe don't have the space. But these days of COVID-19, are there certain precautions, something maybe we should do it a little bit differently than we have in the past? Yeah, Ray, we really need to take precautions. As you said, there's a lot more people who want to grow this year with food access being harder to find. You know, it's a great way to grow your own food in, in a community garden. So in order to do that, though, you want to make sure, first of all, that you're healthy and you want to stay safe. That's number one. And we've developed a set of guidelines to help people overall. Um, as far as gardeners go, you might want to make up a kit that you bring with you. Maybe you keep it in your car um, that would contain hand sanitizer, a mask, um, a, a tr container for trash so that somebody on site doesn't have to deal with it. You really want to carry in and carry out you know, what you have. And, and tools, if you can bring your own tools, that way you're not sharing. But if you are sharing tools, you wanna to make sure that you're you know, wiping those tools down with like hand sanitizer before you get started and then after so that the next person using them you know, doesn't have to worry. Mary, you also have some guidelines for the organizers. Uh, what are some of the things that they should keep in mind? Yeah, so they need to, everybody needs to be responsible. And the organizers, one of the things that they can do is develop a system that can keep our, the gardeners apart. For example, one of the suggestions we have is matching up uh, garden beds with even or odd numbers. And that on an even day, those gardeners with an even number can be there and vice versa on an odd day. That okay. would be one way to limit numbers. Yeah, we're just about out of time here. Once again, where can people find these guidelines and get some more information? They can go to our UNH Cooperative Extension website. I think we will share that link with them. Um, also, the last thing would be making sure that everybody who speaks a different language has access to whatever guidelines you use, and we can help with translations with that. Okay, and hopefully we'll have a, a, a prosperous growing season here coming ahead. And that's it for today's Grow It Green.